Hey guys, this is Andrew Grove, aka this passing for commerce.com. And today I'm starting the first part of a 6 Max 100 PLO series on Picker Stars. It's going to be six tables. Um, just going off the request I got from the feedback from my last series, um, a lot of people wanted to see like Zoom, a lot of people wanted to see me playing like nine tables, like a regular session. Um, kind of compromised just playing. Uh, six tables and so four. I think all of my last series were four tables, so there'll be a little bit more action in this video. I recorded this about two days ago. Um, it was in the early evening Asia time. I think it was like late morning um, European time, which basically means like it's mostly regulars playing. There's not a whole lot of um, just the volume on um, all the tables is really low throughout the site. Um, and all the networks, so it's mostly regulars playing. Um, so we were put in a lot of difficult spots in the session. Um, I have about 50 minutes or so of footage, so that should make out for about three parts. It might only be two parts though. But um, yeah, I had just sat down, so let's start this. And like always, table one through six, um, you'll notice. Um, from my past videos, my um, sizing is a little bit different as far as um, opening is concerned. I am doing 2.22 on the button and like I'm big blinds and like 2. Point something a little bit higher from the cutoff. Just um, allow myself to uh, open a lot more. I think you will see in this video I'm opening lots of buttons and cutoffs and getting a lot of spots that way. Um, I'm also opening some like really junky hands that get folds. And when I do open this really junky hands, I'll go on why I'm opening that, like what stats I'm looking at when I'm stealing, because it is profitable in some spots to open like 100% of buttons. So anyway, I do open on this table. And this sizing is really good, especially if you look at the small blind, the big blind, they're both shorter stacks. They're one, some of the de decent shorter stacks at 100 PLO, Lennox and uh, RDMR. They're three betting pretty wide. From the from the uh, from the blinds, you can see uh, 16 and 15 is the, the three bet from the three bet versus steal from small blind big blind by them. Both playing pretty similar and um, defending. Additionally, calling about 20% of their uh, small blind or their uh, big blinds from versus steal. Um, just playing pretty aggressively post flop overall. So smaller sizing is definitely better versus them versus a bigger sizing. They'll punish the bigger sizing for sure. Let me all to the hand. And the action will fill up. I was actually playing two other tables at least on the side, and I brought them in during the video when I got some interesting hands. Um, as you see, I brought in an anti table, and I think towards the end of the video, there's two anti tables on this side of the um, of the screen. So Lennox calls pre, and I think I think it's a she. I'm not too sure. I'm going to say she just because of her picture. I don't have the picture. Um, her avatar up there because it kind of tells me a bit, but um, I think it's a she. Um, sorry if you're a guy, but I'm calling you a she for now. I think she would three bet most of her aces and kings pre flop, so I have no problem see betting this board. I don't think she connects with it too hard. Um, a lot of her runs down, she's, she's uh, three betting uh, as well. And the seven. I guess when she calls the flop, she has mostly like maybe like naked flush jaws, naked top pair kind of hands, maybe like queen jack. I guess she could have some like middleish cards too that actually have a lot of straight combos now, a lot of like strong or like two pair plus flush draw combos now that could check raise. And I think if I remember correctly, I did get check raised, and I was wondering if I should have seen better or not on the turn. But I think see betting is okay. I think she just misses this um, decent amount. And when I do get check raised, I'd like to see her check raise. It was really quick too. It was like she was planning on doing that. It could be like ten eight seven something like that. I don't think I'm in good shape. I have to fold. But I'd like to see myself at least look at a step before I fold in. It's just like 
what what are outs for me at this point? I could be drawing. She could have like naked Jack Eight, like like King Jack Nine Eight with a suit that she didn't want to through bed pre flop. And she has she has a nuts a lot of ways, a lot of eight sixes too. Basically, I just don't think she's doing this with the naked Queen Jack of Diamonds or Queen Jack of Spades rather, like King Queen Jack Five with spades. Even still, she has a lot of equity. It looks like the table is about to break.